While the cabinet was meeting with senior officers in the public sector, the Ministry of Finance was planning how to preserve, spend, and grow the money needed to run the Turks and Caicos. It is best known as the breadbasket of the Turks and Caicos, the second largest in the chain of 50 islands, and according to economic indicators, its link with Middle Caicos via the new causeway, expansion to the airport runway, addition of a marina, and announcements of multi-million dollar developments make North Caicos poised for a financial boom. That's why, says the Permanent Secretary of Finance, Mr. Delton Jones, they chose the island as a strategic retreat. It's important that we in the Ministry of Finance gear up ourselves to meet the expectations of the various stakeholders and policymakers that they may have on the Ministry of Finance. The Turks and Caicos is undergoing a lot of transformation, which is demanding a lot of, um, you know, of the government in terms of expenditure and allocation to new you know, projects and priorities. It is the Ministry of Finance's responsibility to ensure that resources are in place in a timely manner to address these um, expenditure priorities and commitment. It's bring all of the Ministry of Finance um, departments together, the Accountant General's Office, the Statistics, the Economists, Customs, the Treasury, the Budget Office together to have uh, a weekend of togetherness, looking, making an assessment of what we have accomplished over the years, looking at the strength of our team, you know, the capacity of our team, and bringing ourselves together so we could, you know, be in a better position to meet the expectations of the various persons on the Ministry of Finance. The ministry says it wants to make decisions which achieve value for money and wants that factor in the needs of all of the areas of government without jeopardizing the aim for frugalness. Projects like the Royal Reef Resort, which the Premier announced is back on stream, spin-off industries like native craft, natural habitats like Cottage Pond, small businesses, the development of agriculture, the infrastructural improvements ongoing and the coming of a marina housing subdivision have cumulatively created the prognosis for 2008 looking so great. Mr. Jones told us before the start of the retreat that Bahamian Michael Pintard was brought in to facilitate. We are good to have, are fortunate to have as our facilitator Mr. Michael Pintard from the Bahamas. He comes with us with a lot of experience from the Bahamas, the Caribbean and, and, and wider field the U.S. So we're really looking forward to what he has to offer us in North Caicos over the weekend. And it's very good that we're in North Caicos because it's not incidental that we're here because North Caicos, North Middle Caicos are actually poised for change. Not only was the retreat officially opened Friday by the Premier, but the Honorable Michael Mizek also helped the Ministry of Finance mark a milestone with the opening of a sub-treasury office for North and Middle Caicos residents. That is housed at the office of the Premier in North. It was opened on Saturday, January 12th.